know where to wait. Stay out of sight. Don't let Sisley see. Hey! Hey, taxi! Why didn't you hold it? Sorry, sir. It's full. Yeah, well, well, so am I. Don't spill it. Some other night, but you not said that every night, night for a week, Teddy, and then you run away and leave me, and the next day rave about how wonderful that court singer was. Yeah, was. but now if you'll go back to Hollywood, I'll send you I some more. I don't want to go back to Hollywood. I want to gamble like you promised me I could. So if you'll give me five minutes... Fish's only going to that time. Yeah, here's another sucker. <laughs> You're singing like a million tonight. I never sang worse in my life. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. Just tired, I guess. Oh, we'll give ourselves a vacation one of these days. I've heard you say that before. It won't be long now with money coming in like it is. Yeah. Come on now. Cheer up. Can I help it if business is good? Say, don't you ever get tired? That's just my way of showing how much I love you. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Run along now, won't you, Phil? I want to rest before I go on again. I adore looking at you, darling. Sometimes I almost believe you. You have the sweetest ways of calling me a liar. <laughs> All right, sweet. We'll get away next week, sure. Here's the liar I sent him when he left on a trip. 
You're practically dying. It's only my professional pride keeps me going, Torchy. That's right, Maggie. The show must go on. The show is on. And I got something for you. A note. Here, here. That's the note the Rendon Millions gave me to give you this note. See, the eyes are giving out on me just like the dogs. I'll have to get glasses for them. The dog? No, the eyes. Well, he's persistent. I'll say that for him. And not bad looking. Oh, I don't know. Say, a wax dummy with half his dough would look like Clark Gable to me. You say no to the opportunity of a lifetime, and yes to a guy like Phil Carita. <laughs> I don't get you at all. I don't get myself. The way Phil dizzies around with every good-looking flicker he sees gives me a pain. And it ain't my feet, either. You know, if I had your face and figure, I wouldn't waste my time torching on a skiff like this. And what would you do, Mr. Bones, if you uh, had my face and figure? Grab myself a millionaire. Well, maybe I will. Just as I've always told you, did eh? You've got what the chiropodists call poise. <laughs> I got bunions. My note? Yeah. Huh? The answer is still no. Oh. You know, you know, if if, if I if I had you, I'd 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 take you to Paris. <laughs> yes, but you haven't got me. A uh, Rendon never takes no for an answer. Yes, so you said in your note. Oh, come on. Let's let's get serious, huh? Let let's let's get off of this boat and go places and do things, huh? You know, big things, everything. Say, I'll tell you. I'll I'll take you back to New York with me. It was Paris a minute ago. Oh, I, I, I mean it. I, I, I'm, I'm crazy about you. You're drunk. 
Sure, I'm drunk. I'm, I'm always drunk. But I'm crazy about you just the same. Oh, come on. Give us a little kiss, will you? Uh, just, just a little. You'd better sit down before you fall down. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. Gee. Gee, but you're good to look at. Well, haven't you ever seen a blonde before? Yeah, millions. Yeah, but no, uh, no, never anybody like you. Oh, come on. Say, say yes, huh? I, I, I got lots of money. All, all the money in the world. Yeah, and I, I, I could make you happy, too. You, you, could, you could make me happy. I wonder what you'd be like, sober. Say, say, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll, 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 I'll try anything for you. But would you, would you say yes? Oh, now you're starting that again. Oh, come on. G give in, Steve. No. I believe you mean no. Yes, I mean no. Yes, you mean no. No, you mean yes. Oh, darling. Hey, Torchy, you're on. Oh, pardon me. Well, happy landing. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be waiting for you, boy. Don't you be here when I get back. All right. Sure. Sure, I'll go. Give us a hand here, will you? What do you got? Half a dozen sacks of the local free wall. Okay, coming down. Stand by. Keep out of sight, like I told you. As soon as we get the door up to Phil's office, I'll tip you off. About ten minutes later, you pull the stick out. Look, make it, make it look tough for me. Because if Phil thought I was in on this, he'd drill me cold. That guy ain't bulletproof, is he? No, but don't make any mistakes and take a crack at me. Just you do your stuff, Louie, and we'll do ours. Yeah, all right. Jesus, Noy, this is a June grind. Yeah, the dirty devil crosser. Who can fix 
kills off the ending. Who can say how this began? What's the use of my pretending? Here I am, and he's my man. He isn't handsome or clever, but still he's mine. He'll keep me worried forever, but still he's mine. He likes to lie and cheat me, I found. He likes to cry. Boss me around till even I, who love him, am bound to hate him. I do myself forget him. Oh, hello. Hello yourself, big man. We'll see how it feels. Forgetting with someone new. But find it isn't so easy a thing to do. I don't know how it happens or when. But soon we're back together again. I know he's worthless, but just the same. He's mine. That's the encore. Sweetheart, I was just playing a little uh, sketch for Sadie. You're a fast liar, Phil. Honestly, look, he was just showing me a gag that's going in the new number. I saw the workout. Now you get out. Oh, now listen, honey. There is nothing to get all steamed up about. Well, I'm set up. Sick of it all. You know you don't mean that. No, well, I'm quitting Saturday. No, you're not quitting. We are going on our vacation Saturday. I'm through. No, you just think you are. Keep your hands off me. <laughs> You're jealous, huh? I love it. I'll go on up, Phil. You help me get the stuff up to the office. What do you think I am, a gray?
flying around. Rat. Drop it. Face the wall and keep your hands up. I'm quitting. Walking out on you. You are not through with me. And you are not walking out on me. Say, are you kidding me? I was never more serious. Then I want to tell you something. I'm not interested. Oh, yes, you are, sweetheart. No one can double-cross me and get away with it. You would say something like that? Yes, I would. If you want to leave this floating joint, okay. But you're leaving with me. Here I am. Uh, greetings. How'd you get in there? Well, I... Oh, excuse me. I, I, I must have fallen asleep. What was he doing here with you? Hey, what are you insinuating, anyway? It, it, it's all right, it's all right. I'll, I'll fix him. Trying to put something over on me, weren't you? Well, I'll fix him. Don't, Phil, don't. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's drunk. Please get out of here. Please go. All right. Who is it? He's fast, Bill. Open the door. What do you want? Connie's on board. Looks like a stick-up. They just got Jerry. Where's the money? It's in the safe. I'll be right up. Okay. No, forget it, honey. I am wrong. I just lost my head. I'll be back in a minute and we'll have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, yeah? Maybe the guy is dying. You seem to be in an awful sweat about it. I'll tip them off in the game room. If those guys... What guy? Why, Conley. And whoever's with him. Oh. Spat. Yes, sir. What did Jerry say? He just crashed in and said Conley was on board. Did he mention anybody else? No. How did you know anybody was with Conley? Conley had never put a stick up alone, would he? Maybe not. Well, what are you writing me for? You seem to be kind of nervous. What kind of a crack is that? You're not afraid of a little lead, are you? That isn't funny. Okay, Louis, forget it. I'm sorry. Now listen, boys. We are honest American citizens running a legitimate business. We are entitled to protect ourselves. Is that right, Louis? Yeah, that's right. Open the safe. Have you gone nuts? Conley's liable to be here any minute. You know a lot about Conley, don't you? It's gone. Say... I'll do the talking. Well? I... I don't... Where is it? Under that desk. Get it, Pat. Put it in the safe. 
So you were trading with Connolly. Sold me out. Well, what are you going to do? Do. Jeez, Phil. Don't. Go ahead. Wine. What do we do with him? Into the next cabin. Jerry, too. Hello, 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 hello. Get yourself off this ship before something happens to you. All right, all right. We'll leave together. Well, come on, I, I got a boat waiting. Oh, you must be crazy. Sure I am. I'm, I'm crazy about you. I'm in a hurry. Come on, l l let's get married, huh? Married? Sure, sure, why not? Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so, so you, you, you think I'm drunk, don't you? But you don't know anything about me. I know all I want to know, and that's enough. What about your family? <laughs> my, my family's in Europe. Let, let's fool them, huh? Yes, I will. Swell, come on. Neil, can I borrow some here? Oh, pardon me. Goodbye, Maggie. Where are you going? To get married. Yeah, now, now I'm going to be my own best man. <laughs> Champagne. Bankroll. I don't see it's done you any good. I got everything she ever. Yeah, I know a couple of guys who don't think so. Yeah, I had my eye on that guy myself. Hey, Thompson! Uh, I, wonder, I wonder where that guy is. Can't we use this boat? Well, well, sure, sure, I guess so. Wait, wait a minute, I'll see. Hey, hey, you! Hey, 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 <laughs> you, you know, some people never know enough to stop drinking. Ask your man to hurry, will you? Hey! Hey, Tompkin! Well, hurry up, will you? He'll be here in a minute. I'm telling you, we're sitting on a load of dynamite. And when it goes off, it ain't gonna be funny. I suppose you mean Phil. Yeah, I mean Phil. You mean Peter what? Where's Lita? I don't know. Was Rendon in here again? Rendon? Rendon? Quit stalling and tell me what happened. Well, uh, she left just as I came in to talk and rubbed my feet. Come on, stop here. Come on, hurry up, will you? Come on, uh... Here he comes, here he comes. Hurry up, stop here. Yes, sir. Come on. Well said. Friendly little visit. Friendly if you don't get smart. You picked the wrong time. Nothing but pikers tonight. Yeah. Go ahead and open the safe. Nothing in it. I'll have to phone the game room if you're in a hurry. Who's in the cave? Julian Spets. Told him to bring the dough up here. And be careful what you say. All right.
Flanagan to see you, madam. Flanagan? Miss Margaret Flanagan. Oh. Oh. Maggie. Touchy. Oh. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Oh. Yep, you're a lady. <laughs> I always said the torching on that raft wasn't up your alley. I can't help it, dearie. I walked out here from the station and my dogs are singing the holy bow-wows. <coughs> Shall I dismiss the car, madam? No. Send the car to the station for Miss Flanagan's luggage. Yes. Uh, this is Miss Flanagan, Roberts, an old friend of mine. How do you do? And how's your grandmother? I beg your pardon? Skip it. I beg your pardon? Just plain old skip it. Uh, that will be all, Robert. Yes. Well, did you see the look he gave me? You should see some of the looks he gives me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I suppose everything you do is wrong. Practically everything. But I'm learning. For instance, one should not remove one's shoe in the reception hall. <laughs> and for instance, five a day on the subway circuit will make one not give a damn, for instance. <laughs> so that's what you've been doing. Yes, sir. And a half. Four. Oh, what a life. Just colossal. <laughs> Oh, this is so soft. <laughs> Maggie, when did you leave the ship? The night you left. Why, what happened? Well, uh, yes and no. It seems there was a little shooting that busted up the show. For after it was all over, Spats closed the hatches and threw everybody out. He said Phil was giving up the ship. You didn't see Phil? Why should I want to see that tin horn? Then you don't know where he is. I don't care where he is. I wish I knew. Now, why worry about him? Well, he said I couldn't get away with it. But you did, haven't you? I wonder. Oh, well, he's there and you're here. Now, skip it and tell me the dirt. Where's money bags? Meaning Ted. Now, who else would I mean? He's out. Alcoholically speaking? Yes. He's drunk nearly all the time. How much you gonna nudge him for? A million? Well, I hadn't thought about it. Well, that's why you married him, ain't it? Yeah, it would seem that way, wouldn't it? <laughs> and what a way. Well, the longer you stick, the more you're entitled to. Oh, Oh, dearie, where do I park the umpray? I'll put you in the blue room. The blue room? Mm -hmm. I'd feel much more at home in the gold room. The gold room, dearie. <laughs> Get me? <laughs> Sounds like Ted. I came home especially to see you. Well, well, old horse face, I, I'm glad to see you. Hello, sucker. 
Oh, what, what's that? Skipper. Just plain old Skipper. <laughs> It's our anniversary, don't you remember? Yeah, ex exactly, exactly. Six weeks today. Yeah, come on, old mushmouth. Let, let, let's have a drink, huh? I really must say no. My, uh, my liver. Oh. Oh, well, well that, that, that's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see you around. Yeah, so long, gorgeous. No more tonight. No, no, no. You, you know me. Did I say a million, Torchy? Say, when I go on that witness stand, I'll paint a picture of mental cruelty that'll get you two million, not a cent less. To the keyhole with I spy. What family of blue blood is rushing homeward from the Riviera to rescue what Long Island playboy who hasn't been reformed by his marriage to what beautiful torch singer? And what beautiful torch singer and is she? Is earning every cent she'll get when the family turns its battery of legal lights on a hasty midnight marriage. Say, she's a smart girl. I'll bet she'll get plenty. Send the dice by fellow a hundred dollars. What, again? Again. Boy, I'll bet he believes in the Santa Claus. Did you get the timetable? Yeah. What does it say? Leave Los Angeles Friday, arrive in New York the fourth day Tuesday. Well, listen, the doctor said... Forget what the doctor said. We are getting out of here. With all the frills you can have, I'll be hanged if I see why you keep yourself steamed up about that torch. She ran out in these pants. And I have some business to settle with that husband of hers, too. <laughs> You can't have any more tonight, Oh, Ted. who said so? I do. Listen, I'm going to drink all I want. And nobody's going to stop me. You get out of my way or I'll break your neck. Listen to me, please, Ted. You're killing yourself. All right, I'll kill myself. And I'll kill you, too. Come on, Teddy boy. Who are you? Now, now don't tell me you've forgotten old horse face. Oh. Oh, hello, old horse face. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a good old scout. You like me, huh? <laughs> sure, you're... you're Hey, you, you like me, too, huh? Just crazy about you. <laughs> Let, let's play rough. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoopee. Take this to bed with you. Maggie. You're a cinch, Jerry, a cinch. You can go to court right now. Oh, the poor kid. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm sorry for him. The least I can do is try to help him after all he's done for me. What has he done for you? Try to choke you. Oh, he didn't mean that. Oh, let him make a jury believe he didn't. Did I say two million, jury? You're in the bag for five.
I'll light it for you, dear. Thanks. You know, last night sticks with me just like a crazy nightmare. When I'm when I'm that way, I I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. On the level I am, I wouldn't hurt you. You know that. I know you wouldn't. I was just crazy, out of my mind. Well, then now would be a good time to stop. You've proven you can twice. Think what it would mean, Ted. Oh, I want to. I've tried to, but I, I just can't. I know you can, and you must. You can't keep up where you're going. It'll get you just one place, and that's the great. Big pardon. What is a Roberts? Your aunt and uncle are in the drawing room, sir. Oh. Tell them I'll be down in a moment. Very good, sir. Better go in alone. Yeah. Listen. Nothing they say will make any difference as far as we're concerned. All this girl wants is your money, and to save you, you young fool, we're willing to buy her off. Oh, so you're willing to buy her off? She offers consent to an annulment. And what makes you think that? They always do. You shut up. Listen to me, you young idiot. You married far beneath you. A torch singer from a gambling ship. A person unfit to carry on the Rendon tradition. It's perfectly obvious, my boy. This girl wants only your money. Well, she can have it. And anything else I've got, too. Oh, no, she can't. We control your money. And we'll never relinquish our trusteeship so long as she's your wife. I suppose she told you who she was and what she was before you married her. I didn't ask her. She tried to and I wouldn't listen. I don't want to hear anything now. Well, you're going to. Give me that report. Did you ever hear of Phil Carida? I know all about her. You know that she lived with him before she married you? Without benefit of clergy? Do you want a woman of her character to be smirched the Rendon ancestry? A line that comes down through history. To a lot of drunken rotters. Look at me, I'm a Rendon. Am I anything to be proud of? No. No, I'm a drunkard. And my father was one and your father was one. <laughs> the Rendon ancestry. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't I? Well, let me tell you this. I don't care what my wife was. That's all over with. But I do know this much. She's the only one who ever really tried to make something out of me. Did you? No. You beat it off to Europe when I got to be too much for you. You ran out on me. Well, she hasn't. She stuck by me, and I'll stick by her. Oh, you're mad. Don't I know it? I know the tank that runs through this family. Ha! My grandfather died in an insane asylum. Yeah, and I'll end there, too. That's why I drink all the time to forget it. That's all I can ever think about, going crazy. Now you get out. Get out. Get out of here, do you hear me? Get out, all of you. It's all that woman's fault. She put you up to it. Get out of my house. Me through the keyhole into the intimate lives of the people you hear about, read about, and talk about. What local playboy resumed his endurance jag two days ago when what irate uncle and aunt dug up what beautiful torch singer's past? And what radiant little blonde is helping him to forget and forget and forget? You can see them any evening at a certain level and how he does. Go early, ladies and gentlemen, and avoid the crush. Where's it hurt you, dearie? Listen, Angel, you're letting a soft heart interfere with business. Oh, poor kid. Oh, skip it. You know, he's left you flat like that guy in the movies tonight. And that spells desertion with capital dollar marks. Golden dollars. Gee, that'd make a swell movie title, wouldn't it? Desertion, divorce, alimony. I can see the jury now, weeping as they look at you sitting in the witness chair, dressed all in black. Plain black torture, with a touch of white for purity, and just enough color in your face to make you beautiful and tragic. Like Camille. Gee, that's an idea. You can develop a cough. <laughs>
that? Sounds like a band. Band? Band then. Dance Ted. Ted Clark. Clark Careless. Careless girl. Girl evidence. Evidence alimony. Gee, everything I think of ends in money. Money. Hotcha. Finishing my business here tonight. Here, have the boat all ready. Enjoying yourselves? Oh, but that's nice. <laughs> <laughs>
Ted! Get away from me. Give me that gun. Get away from me, I tell you. Give me that gun, please. I'm gonna do it. Please. Ted. And I'm gonna kill you, too. <laughs> You phone for the doctor? I told Frozen Face to do it. And who might Frozen Face be? The butler. Did you return to the room immediately? No, my dog sake, I couldn't. I'm I... not interested in your feet, Miss Flanagan. Well, let it pass. Will you please answer my question? Sure, what was it? Did you return to the room immediately? No. My dogs ached and I stopped to rub them. They cramp when I get excited. Then you were excited. Why? Why not? I'll tell you why. You knew when she sent you out of the room that she was going to kill him. Was you there, Charlie? Charlie? I'll uh, skip it. What? Just plain old skip it. How much did Mrs. Rendon expect to get out of this marriage? Mm -hmm. It was worth at least five million bucks in my opinion. I'm not asking your opinion. How much did she expect to get? What do you think, Charlie? I'll see Mrs. Rendon. That'll be all, Mrs. Flaherty. Flanagan. Miss Margaret Flanagan to you, Stooge. And to you too, you old futz. Don't tell them anything, dearie. Make them guess. Will you be seated, uh, Mrs. Rendon? How long did you know Ted Rendon before you married him? A few weeks. Was he sober at the time? But he said he knew what he was doing. That isn't answering my question. He was not sober. You knew who he was? Well, yes. You knew that he would inherit many millions? Yes. And of course, that's why you married. Did your husband know of your uh, relations with Phil Carida? Yes. You told him? Uh, I tried to tell him. But he said he knew all about it. Mr. Rendon's guests state that you forced him to leave them and go to your room. Yes. For what purpose? Well, he was drunk. I have affidavits which prove that he was sober. But they're not true. After getting your husband to your room, you sent that uh, Miss Flanagan to phone for a doctor? Yes. And you locked the doors when she left the room? No. And the guests say the doors were locked. They had to break in. How do you explain that? Well, I, I can't. Then you did lock those doors. No, no, I didn't. And brought to you through the courtesy of the Evening Star. 
we now return you to Countess Theodosia Andraslavska, who will resume her intimate glimpses of the Rendon murder trial. Hello, everybody. Before I forget it, I simply must tell you about her hat. It was something like a turban, but yet not a turban. Now, was it a beret? It was a, now, let me see, what would I call it? Dear, dear, there I go again. But one could see that the whole thing was thought out with the idea of impressing the jury. That's why I'm telling you about it. But it didn't work this time. The evidence was so overwhelmingly against her that I don't see how any jury could do anything else but find her guilty. Chair for her, all right. Yeah. She'll burn. Oh, she saved you a lot of trouble by bumping him off. Yeah. I wonder why she did it. Women are funny that way. Want me to mix you one? What? Yeah, stiff one. It took a place here and there for contact. One could easily see it was a French model, and a very expensive one, too. But there they are. I must get on with the trial. The poor dear, she looks so wan and haggard. I felt so sorry for her. I could have cried right on the spot in spite of the fact that she must be guilty. Have you reached a verdict, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? We have, Your Honor. Prisoner will rise. The jury will look upon the prisoner. The prisoner will look upon the jury. Proceed. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. <laughs> try to kill me. That's just what it was, Maggie and I. He did that so they believed what he said. Well, he sure made it stick. You're on, dearie. Boss me around, 
Till even I, who love him, am bound to hate him. Mm -hmm. I do my darkness for king with someone new. But find it isn't so easy a thing. I'll carry on with his melody Because he's gone and now I can see That in his fashion he must have called his love 